The first night of Passover follows a day of violent clashes in the Holy Land. At least 15 Palestinians were killed and more than 1,000 wounded fighting Israeli troops along the Gaza border. With more on this, here's Roxana Saberi. As tens of thousands of Palestinians march to Gaza's border with Israel today, some burned tires and threw stones at Israeli troops. Others stomped and burned pictures of President Donald Trump. Israel's military responded with tear gas, some of it dropped by drones, and says it opened fire on people trying to break through the border illegally. East of the Gazan city of Khan Yunis, one demonstrator after another fell as shots rang out. The protests were directed by Hamas, the Islamic militant group that oversees Gaza, which Israel pulled out of in 2005. Demonstrations along the border are common, but this time tens of thousands of Palestinians have set up camps at several sites. They're calling for the right of Palestinian refugees to return to what's now Israel, 70 years after the country's creation. This woman says returning to our land is non-negotiable. Israel is accusing the protest organizers of sparking the violence. Tensions are likely to remain high. Tonight, Hamas is calling for the protesters to stay at the border and not back down. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, London.